Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Cozy Christopher. Today we're looking at the Red Dragon Aatrox M811 Pro wireless gaming mouse. Now, Red Dragon was nice enough to send this out to me for review, unboxing, testing, etc. Uh, but as always, you're going to get an unbiased, uh, honest opinion. This is going to be a more modern mouse with more modern specs. And so we're going to look at this and see how this holds up in editing as well as gaming in the way that I, that I use the Logitech G604. So let's jump into this unboxing. Inside the box, let's look, take a look at the specs here. It's 26,000 DPI sensor, 2.4 gigahertz uh, connectivity or wired, uh, and then it has 10 side buttons, and there's some other specs that I put up on the screen here. 15 programmable buttons, which is the really big thing, which is what drew me to this MMO style mouse. So let's get into the unboxing. Let's see what we got on the inside here, see what comes with the mouse itself. Um, okay. Not very much unboxing at all we got box we got plastic we have of course the red dragon stickers gotta have those ready for battle and then we have a quick start guide which is nice this unboxing is simple but oops <laughs> there's not much to it but we have the 2.4 gigahertz uh, dongle here a really nice now this is not braided it's uh i forget the pair pair paracord it's a paracord style uh, cable here. It's super soft. I mean, there's good distance there, but the mouse itself. Oh man, that's wide. It's a lot wider than I thought it would be. This is definitely for bigger hands. Oh, I don't know. It's it's comfortable. Look at the look at the the print on this thing. Footprint. Um, dongle goes in there at the bottom as you can see there you can store the dongle at the bottom there you have 10 10 buttons there on the side target uh, it's the aim button or trigger button in the front there and then you have two buttons on the top Let's see there's no there's no side to side the clicks on the mouse are decent let's get you some Oh, sound good. Okay, let's see. As far as the feet, we do got some stuff on the bottom. Make sure you take that off to get the full slipperiness of the mouse on the pad here. This mouse is really wide. I, I can't get over how wide this mouse is. It definitely feels much better after you... On the bottom, you got an eco there. You got an off and you got an on. Um, but let's get this plugged in. Let's see what we got from a light show standpoint, which... You get some lighting there in the the uh, buttons of the control or the buttons of the mouse there. You get a little line of light at the bottom there, and then you get the red dragon sign uh, uh, logo lighting up, and then you have your scroll wheel lighting up as well. That looks pretty good. I mean, for what it is, it's a really big mouse. I mean, that, like I can't get over that because next to the G604, I mean, the G604 is a large mouse too, but I mean, just something about the width this Red Dragon feels, but it, it does have places for your fingers to sit. So I do wanna stress that, point that out, that there is a curve or a contour there where your where your fingers sit on the mouse, the, the off button, the off hands there that are not pushing buttons. They sit actually really nice in there. And then there's this groove there for your thumb to sit where, where the buttons are. I mean, yeah, I can see myself getting used to that for sure. Okay, let's take a look at the software here. The software is pretty simple and easy to use. If you go to the main portion of the software, this is the main portion here where you can see all 15 programmable buttons. Um, you have your advanced, which you can set your DPI, and I've already set my DPI to 1,000, 1,200, 1,600, 8,000, and 26,000. Um, and then I like my scroll speed to be fast, and so I've turned that up a bit. Uh, mouse sensitivity, you can adjust that there. I turn off improve uh, pointer precision because that can mess with in-game um, accuracy in regards to some of the first-person shooter titles. Double click speed, I've left that you know normal. Macros, I've gone in here and set some which I would use for Premiere Pro. Um, you can see cut, select, save, new bin, undo, redo. 
and then the lighting you can adjust the lighting here and as you can see there's three different versions colorful streaming steady and breathing not much to write home about on the rgb side but it's more focused on the mmo style mouse and so the functionality of that and so let's go back to the main screen and let's program some of these and so as you can see the buttons on the side there are the one through eight and so let's program those for my editing i may and then i may use i may program some early, uh, later on for gaming but for the most part, I use my MMO mouse for, for editing. So let's go one, let's click the drop down box right there. And I, I hope you can see it, sometimes you can't, um, but I'll click on macro, select the macro. So the first button one is going to be cut. I'm gonna add that one. Button two, I'm gonna put uh, another macro and I'm gonna so set, uh, let's see, select. Add that to button two. Okay, so that, I'm gonna apply that to my mouse there. And that is the mouse, it has built-in onboard memory and so those settings should stick there. As you can see there, the battery is charging right there. Uh, but I'm gonna switch this from the paracord. They have this listed as braided, but it feels very much paracord to me. But I'm gonna switch this now to the 2.4 gigahertz and then we're gonna get some gaming in and then we're gonna test out the, the macros for editing. Okay, so we're playing a little bit of Quantum Break just to try out the new Atrox mouse and get a feel for it, so. Okay. Because of the size, it's, it's not easy to pick up, so it's probably not the best fit for this type of game. Okay, that escalated quickly. Okay, so I've been using this mouse for about two hours now, and so this is more like a first impressions as opposed to an overall review. What I will say about using this mouse for gaming, for gaming, it is not the best when it comes to fast paced first person shooter games, at least for my particular hand. The wide, the wide size of the mouse and how large it is makes it extremely hard to pick it up and move it around while gaming. Um, very, very caught myself in moments where I had to move really quickly, not being able to pick the mouse up off of the table and get it to where I needed to game. However, it did perform a lot better in playing games like Persona uh, 5 Royale. Um, when playing that game, it was definitely easier to play, um, smooth um, gaming experience, etc. So as far as gaming, it's not for fast paced games, at least for me, and I, I don't have the biggest hands. And so if you have larger hands, maybe it's going to be better for you being able to pick it up. But at 138 grams, it's not the type of mouse that you're going to be picking up and moving around. I played just Quantum Break to begin with, and that's a, a shooter and stuff like that. And so I was able to pull off the scene um, that I was in where it kind of got um, ambushed, but it was hard again with the size of the mouse in my hand. And so let's move on and look at some editing next. So as you can see here, my cuts are working just fine let's see here my save button is working my select ok 
Okay. Okay, so it worked. Yeah, so let's delete. Two, six. There we go. Final thoughts on the Aatrox M811 Pro by Red Dragon. For first impressions, I think this is a very good mouse. Now, I'll say it is a wide mouse, and so with, some, with my hands, it's not the easiest to use when gaming because it is so large in the way that it fits in the hands. Now, that does not mean that it's a bad mouse. I've just gotten used to using the super small mice um, that I have around the desk. The 604 is the largest mouse that I use, but this particular mouse in itself for what it's used for, for MMO gaming, and the way that I use these MMO mice uh, for editing, it works really great. I think the dual areas for the, the eight buttons on the side there is really nice because you can kind of feel the groove of the front group, again, is one through four, and the back group is five through eight, and then you have two buttons above that, and then you have your regular left and right click and your scroll wheel. Um, this at $39 or $40 is a definitely a really good uh, option for you. So let me know any thoughts or questions or concerns or hesitations you may have in the comment section below. Always happy to have conversations around these products. So until next time, stay cozy in that crazy world and I will see you in the next video. Peace.